What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Friday the 13th game video. Today we're going over the recently revealed single player element called Virtual Cabin 2.0. The first time we were given notice of this came from the content guide, as we previously discussed in our last video, but no other context is really given. For those that don't know what the Virtual Cabin is, you're currently watching footage of it. It was originally a PC exclusive download that let us, as fans, keep up with the things that were being added to the game, including weapons, counselors, and Jasons. The cabin also came with loads of easter eggs and references to the films. One easter egg in particular we actually covered before the game came out, which involved looking at certain items for a period of time. Once you found all these specific items, a secret room would open, revealing Jason's shrine for his mother. So the question is, what's the big change coming to Virtual Cabin 2.0? Well for one, it is no longer PC exclusive. That's right, Virtual Cabin 2.0 will be coming to all platforms and is one of the three elements coming with single player. Now single player will include offline bots, challenges, and the Virtual Cabin 2.0. And just for clarification, there will be no story mode within the game but rather challenges that you do as Jason that are basically mission based, often being compared to that of Hitman gameplay. But let's go back to the Virtual Cabin. What should we expect? Well, co-creator Wes Kellner gave us some details saying, think of it as an F-13 museum with first person camera steeped in F-13 lore and Easter eggs from both the films and the game that you get to find. Puzzles to solve, jump scares and more, but there's something more sinister going on. Perhaps you'll unlock the secrets. So, for all of you easter egg hunters out there, get ready to start hunting because Virtual Cabin 2.0 is bound to be packed with them. The main easter egg from the first Virtual Cabin was pretty tough to figure out and took a lot of the community working together to discover all the secrets. If Virtual Cabin 2.0 can bring the same kind of mystery with it, then I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun to dive into. I also want to clarify that back in the Kickstarter days, there was a stretch goal that included having the Virtual Cabin playable while waiting for multiplayer games to start. But after I messaged Wes Kellner, I did get some clarification saying they did want to do this, but it was just too difficult to pull off at the time. But that Virtual Cabin 2.0 is totally rebuilt from the ground up and is going to be much bigger with even more puzzles and jump scares, along with more props from the films and the game. Regardless of what the cabin contains directly, it's a pleasant surprise to see it coming to all platforms, especially since we had no idea it was coming with single player at all. Here's the thing, we still have a ton to learn about single player and all the elements coming with it. And I'm sure a lot more is going to be revealed very, very soon. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on so you never miss an update in the future. But that just about wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and let us know in the comments what you're hoping to see in Virtual Cabin 2.0. And with that, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.